speaker, you stand. Thank you, Honorable Chair. I, and of Gregorio Okero, do solemnly swear that the evidence that I shall give before this committee in respect to the matters before the committee shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Uh, Mr. Speaker, you are letting me down, boss. You know that the law is very clear under the PFM Act who should sign for what and for which position and which department and which secretariat. Very true. So, so what are you telling me that you don't know? Uh, under the same uh, act, the clerk can delegate the work of the chair of the service board which means the answer you gave us actually was not the right answer. You understand why we are asking these issues? I can get you through, Honorable Chair. Get the frustrations we're having, and that is, that is why our counties are not functioning, because we are not following the law. And you're busy telling us to give you money to, to bring uh, revenue allocations high, increase the ceilings, and yet you are breaking the same law that allows me to fight for you to get the money. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. What I want to confirm here. Uh, but is, uh, uh, let me chair through you. Can yes, I? Sir. You have said that uh, the clerk delegated the stupid clerk. Now, I want you to tell me, clerk, which law gives you authority to, to, dele to delegate to your stupid clerk? And, and whether why you should actually tell us you are fit to continue being in office if you can sign and delegate your accounting authority to your deputy. And make sure you give us the letter plus the legal authority yeah. that gives you the power to delegate. Thank you. The PFM regulations give that authority, yes, but I have not delegated. It was the decision of the board. So is there evidence, uh, Deputy Clerk, to that effect? Or the chair of the county assembly, is there evidence or a letter that shows that you have, uh, you, you, it was delegated to the deputy clerk and the reversal to the same? Can you table that evidence? I think as the board, we have the evidence, but um, it's not exactly about delegation. It was about, about responsibility. Yes. The designatory has not been... Uh, in your, in your delegation to the deputy clerk of responsibility, one of them was to become a signatory. When uh, the clerk was not in, yes. of here the responsibility Can was to be assigned. Can we get those minutes of the decision of the board? De de designating him as a signatory? I yes, yes. For five good years. Oh. Excuse me, Chair. <clears throat> Yes, please. One of the issues that I'm extremely uncomfortable about is when we ask these guys to go and look for documents for us. Those ones they manufacture. Why is that document not in this report? <clears throat> yeah. Through Honorable Chair, to correct uh, my Honorable Senator. You cannot the, correct a Senator. Just to give a bit of information, not yes, to correct. Yes. yes. That uh, uh, the issue raised is not in the what it queries we are responding here today. It doesn't matter. But Speaker, it doesn't matter whether it is in query or not in query. We have a right to ask any question. Very okay. It's yeah. only about the documents I meant. No, not no, 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 no. I think, Chair, we are playing around here. This is a very serious matter. Yes. It's not a joke. The reason, Speaker, it I, I think, up, Chair, let yes. me finish. Yes. Can we refer all these matters of County Assembly of Nyamira to EACC to investigate quickly? Mm. And even uh, OAG should, should do a special audit on how the, the assembly is running, forensic audit. And I think we have to give that ruling. Because we've been asking here, is there a problem? Nobody wants to say yes. until we had to come back. Yeah. Even the clerk himself, when he's not an accounting officer, he sits here and says he's an accounting officer. Because we cannot deal with an institution that is lying to us by record, by word of mouth. We can't. How are you going to behave before Nyamira people when you are actually lying to an institution like parliament? You are even an embarrassment to your senator. We know he's a thorough person. 
and he fights for Nyamira money. Every year we fight because we have equal uh, problems with, uh, with Nyamira. But if you don't account for the money allocated to you, surely, why does he fight in this Senate every day? It's really embarrassing. So I think, Chair, mm -hmm. with all due respect, we must refer these matters to ESC, ESC and OAG to carry out forensic audit and ESC to investigate on the running of county assembly. And we are done. We don't have to waste time here with people who are lying to us. Madam Dulo. Okay. Now, now oh, two, two things. The, the reason speaker we're asking about who is signatory was, arose from the payment of certificates to the contractor. We wanted to know who authorizes payment. And the accounting officer is seated here. Is legally is the accounting officer, but we took a ground is different because somebody else is the one pay, authorizing payment, which is against the law. So we will direct that they are directed on two issues that the fourth issue here is to follow up on operations. Specifically, we want to know this issue of authorization or payment of signature because legally, accounting officer is the clerk of the county assembly. So if you have another stranger, you will end up having people looking into your expenses. And you know we are pushing for financial autonomy of the county assemblies. Yes. And this is the indecency we would want not to know. So let's move, uh, so ESCC is so directed and also provide those certificates to the OAG to go through and then report back. Uh, and then in that report, you we must get authority of the board. And you know, if you go and manufacture or cook Senator Onyonga, some of us uh, as, are good at detecting cooking yes. and manufacturing. Good to know from Clark. Yes. After we had a session here last time, mm -hmm. you gave us court orders. Mm -hmm. We agreed with the court orders. We said you resume your duties. Are you the substantive clerk of uh, Nyamira County Assembly? Because you have signed the report, but as the Senator Dula says, it seems there is a problem. Is there any problem? Thank you. I want, I wish to kindly to correct that I did not submit any court orders. What was submitted is the process of the board that <coughs> actually found the allegations baseless and I was reinstated. I am the clerk of the County Assembly mm. of Jamira. What is the problem? Because we are seeing there's a problem. You are not in touch with the reality that is happening in the county. Can you tell us? Or maybe the chair of the board can tell us. Yeah, that's a policy matter. Can the chair say something? We, I am the clerk of the county assembly. You are the accounting officer. And I am. You know, but uh, the picture which has uh, come out this morning is not very nice. It's not very nice. Because you, you give us a report that doesn't reflect what is on the ground. You give us contradictory figures on the payments made from what is on the report. Huh? Every question we ask, you seek uh, to cross-check the facts with the, the finance director. So you seem not to be on top of things, one clerk. We really need to know what is the problem. It's embarrassing, you know, I've not seen such a situation in any of the uh, counties that have appeared before as where the accounting officer is uh, reneging <laughs> from a report that has been presented. And, and on figures, you know, under his signature, he says he has paid 255, but he tells the committee a different story, that have only, we have only paid 211. He says there is a contract on site, then the chair of the board agrees with the auditor that there is no contract on site. It creates a very bad picture. So let me uh, ask chair, yeah, before the class, clans, at the first glance of this building, that uh, this is on fourth Monday, this this cannot be one month for some of us even who have constructed a cow shed. You cannot finish this one within one month. Why are you saying by July we should come and commission under the invitation of the area senator? Yet even looking at the inside, it is still far. Thank you, sir. It's true, we might, we will not make it in the next one month. But when the extension was sought, 
that was adequate time when he came for it. When and was it? Extension was done when? That is. Uh, let me refer. I think in the year. How much have you paid? I think you have paid an, a tune of two fifty to eleven million. Who is the clerk in that county assembly? Eleven. Uh, uh, sorry, sir. I, there's a reason to that. I want to be sure. No. When when uh, I'm asking, how long did you go and leave? Four years. Four years. But uh, clerk, you are here. You you appeared before this committee last, yes, last, last year. year. Yes. And we dealt with your issue yes, of resumption of office. Yes, yes. yes. So you again went to sleep? No, I've not went to sleep. We, and you know, these are questions that are current. We're asking you current questions. Current issues, yes. Current and I want to know, you know, when you appear before Senate and you carry a Bible, you swear to tell the truth. The good lady here is saying there is nobody on site. No contract on site. On site. So your report says yes. the contractor is on site. And that was on Tuesday. Yeah. So are you lying to us? Because we can I can ask this committee we had John and head to Nyamira next week. Mm. And we'll do a serious report in inducting you to the to the Senate. Because you cannot lie to the committee, I mean. In the, your report, yeah. you say the contractor is on site. Because if you there is no contractor, we... it's good to be honest to the committee and say the contractor is on site because of ABC. When did you last pay them? And how much have you paid them? Can you consult? And then number two, you said you had brought your deputy clerk because you needed preparation. Yes. So what were you preparing for? Because if you are telling us that the contractor is on site, yet you know we trust the OAG because that's their work. They have said there was no contract on site. And even you have lied by saying, was misrepresented the committee by saying by July, the, the building should be ready for use. And you know, things change, inflation, cost of materials, the, inf the structure rained on, with time it might wear and tear, will kick in. So wh why are you lying on this one by saying the contractor is on site? Then then sorry, sorry, sir, chairman, that's what I was explaining, yes. that when he sought for that But he's not on site. He's, He's just becoming following his money. What do you no, mean? No, no, what do you mean? But, yeah. but I want to be very... Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Chair, uh, Honorable Senator. Speak uh, through the chair. Yeah, through the chair, of course. Yeah. Uh, it's right, I think, that statement, we need to weigh on it. We withdraw. Yeah, we withdraw, it's not on site. You know you are on hold. Excuse and you are lying to me. No, no, I was not lying. We you thought... Are. The senior council... Uh, when we did the report, that is what we looked forward to. Well, look like I'm getting worried. Yeah. Eh? So uh, you apologies. Are <laughs> apologies on that. But however, I wanted to explain something more, uh, Chairman, with your intelligence. So, who is, your report is uh, misleading. You want to withdraw. There's, there's nobody Which part do you that, want we to withdraw? You cannot proceed if you withdraw that yeah. report. You can't withdraw since it has been tabled. I'm not. So, you wait for consequences? I'm not able to withdraw. Yes. We are asking but a question. Something maybe, I wanted to I'm clarify. asking, can you hold your thought? Eh? If it is possible, you should write so that you can get a notebook and write so that you answer in also. How much have you paid this contractor so far out of 367 million? 211 million. 211 million. That's how many percent? But in your report, you have said to date the works are at 70 percent of the contract and accumulative amount of 255 million 903502 as per certificate number 12 dated 27 february 2024 had been paid out of contract of 367 million I, I so now he's saying 211 so you are lying again so which is which should we take the oral response or the written response that you have tabled it is on page 10 of your report it's not senate report mm, this is uh, on report 2022 or is the director misleading you intentionally May to embarrass you? Speaker, you are the chair of the board. Uh, what is, is happening? Just quiet listening to what is happening. Thank you, Honorable Chair. And I want to confirm what might be on writing is not what on the what is on the ground. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons can be the contractor has raised some certificates which have not been paid that will sum up to the percentage. As so how many now that you have gone to the 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 ground 
I wanted you to, how much are you aware I've been paid? Because you are saying maybe the certificate has been raised. But it is in your certificate number 12, it says you are paid 255 million. But your clerk is saying you are paid 211 million. There are those, uh, thank you, Honorable Chair. Yes. That's why I said there might be a variance from uh, the records. Because the contractors, uh, as I'm aware right now, has raised a payment certificate of 62 million. Mm -hmm. But he has only been paid 18 million out of the 62 million. And the contractor walked out of sight a few weeks ago due to non-payment. So we have certificates raised, but payment has not been done. But your clerk is saying the, the contractor is on site. And you, you are saying he has walked away. The contractor walked out of the site. So who is telling the truth? I'm telling the truth. The OAG was there. Okay. Now let me ask, have you interacted with this report before this morning or before the appearance? Or yes, uh, Honorable you... Throw Chair. The report yes. was submitted the, by 31st of May. No, 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 no. The Senator is asking, before, have before you seen Before coming this? here as a board, have you sat and looked at this report together? in preparation for to, today's appearance? Yes. yes, through the Honorable Chair, we have. When? Because... As last as uh, last evening. Then why are you giving us contradicting statements if you had had a discussion and consultation on the same issues? Because it looks like you don't even know what is happening in the county. We understand uh, through the Honorable Chair, we are very much aware of what is happening. The contradiction can be from the variances I've highlighted. No, Chairman, uh, Speaker, you are the chair of the board. There is no way that you can say there are contradictions. Because if you have paid 200, you have paid 200. Mm. If the contractor is on site, he's on site. If he's not on site, he's not on site. And so that's where the is true the contradiction message. coming from? The contradiction is the figures, Honorable, through your chair. No, it's What I understand not. with the figures... Let, no. let me rephrase yeah. the question, Speaker, and the clerk. Speaker, you stand. Thank you, Honorable Chair. I, Honorable Gary Okero, do solemnly swear that the evidence that I shall give before this committee in respect of the matters before the committee shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. I, Daniel Oginda Orina, do solemnly swear that the evidence that I shall give before this committee in respect of the matters before the committee shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Thank you. Then you go ahead. A section of the slab and a beam had collapsed. A preliminary report from the Ministry of Public Works Housing and Urban Development dated 4th June 2021, reference number given in the report, indicated that the entrance lab failed due to inadequate design support system causing deflation of the beam and the framework failed due to lack of praising. The National Construction Authority is yet to issue a lifting of the suspension of the works awaiting submission of the approved redesign of the collapse section of the building together with the methodology statement for the implementation of works by the county assembly. In 2022, the finding was the review of the project document revealed that the contract was again uh, reviewed and the expected date of uh, completion was set for July 2023. However, physical verification of the project at the time of audit revealed that the reinforced sub superstructure was at third floor, but the contractor was not on site. In addition, management did not provide for audit review, the revised work schedule, as well as the extended performance bond. As a result, value for money may not be realized from the delayed works. Thank you, Chair. Uh, 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 clerk, take us to where your response is uh, and read in both financial years. We can start in 2021. Which page? That is page 7. Page 7 on 2020-2021. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Page 7, huh? Yeah. The project commenced on 13 June 2018. 
and not May 2018 as stated. And it was expected to be completed by 13 June 2021 and not August 2018 as stated. However, uh, the contractor was unable to complete the project within the stipulated timeline and therefore sought the following extensions. Extension of contract completion period from 20th February 2022 to 17th July 2023. Extension of the contract completion period from 19th July 2023 to 24th July 2024. Two, during the period of fiscal verification, that is 13th October 2021, the contractor was not on site due to suspension of work order number 10 1557 of 28th May 2021 by the National Construction Authority after the collapse of the section of the slab and beam, that's the canopy. Three, the entrance slab was redesigned as recommended in the preliminary report by the Minister of Transport, Infrastructure, Public Works, Housing and Urban Development. Four, the, finance, the National Construction Authority lifted the suspension of the works on uh, works order number 10, 1557 on 2nd July 2022. And we have a list of annex just of what we mentioned from page 58 to 87. You can just write, read through the annex just. Uh, next year number 20, contracts between Cheta and County Assembly. Uh, number 21, letter of extension dated 9th June 2022. And extra 22, letter of extension dated 11th October 2023. And extra 23, preliminary report from the Ministry of Transport, Infrastructure, Public Works, Housing and Urban Development recommending redesign. And extra 24, suspension of works ordered by National Construction Authority. And extra 25, redesigned front canopy of the building. And next 26, lifting of suspension works order by National Construction Authority. And next 27, we have the victorious of the building. Read uh, your response in the following sub-financial year. That is page 10 in your report. Page, yeah, page 10 on 2022 report. On 27 May 2021, during a casting of the fourth slab, uh, the front canopy collapsed, resulting in suspension of the works order number 10, 1557 of 28 May 2021 by the National Construction Authority that lasted for eight months. The entrance slab, that's number two, was redesigned as recommended by the Ministry of Transport, Infrastructure, Public Works, Housing and Urban uh, Development in their preliminary report. But three, the National Construction Authority lifted the suspension of the works order number 10, 1557, on 2nd February 2022. Number four, delayed exchequer disbursements affected payments to the contract certificates and therefore delaying, delaying the, pay, the pace of the works. Revised works schedule and extended performance bond are provided. To date, the works are at 70% of the contract and accumulative amount of Kenya shillings 255 million, 903,502 as about Saturday number 12, dated 7th February 2024, has been paid out of the contract sum of 367 uh, million. The contractor is on site and has sought an extension until 24th July 2027. 2027. Sorry. 2024, sorry. Sorry, 2024. List of our next years uh, that are on our pages 90 to 116, and the next years are as follows. And next year 27, suspension of works order number 10, 1557 by the National Construction Authority. And next year 28, preliminary report of the Ministry of Transport, Infrastructure, Public Works, Housing and Urban Development report on collapsed section of Nyamira County Assembly Office Block. And next year 29, lifting of suspension of works order number 10, 1557 by the National Construction Authority. And next year 30, revised works schedule. And next year 31, performance bond varied 5th May 2025. And next 32, project extension until 24th July 2024. And next 33, statement for payment of account. And next 34, Victoria, current status of the ongoing works. Thank you. Uh, have you realized that you have given us similar pictorials on both financial years? They don't look latest. Anyway, uh, Auditor, I'm informed that on 4th, Monday, June, you did a fiscal verification on the project.
Yes, Who chair. is there? Is the contractor on site? What is the status? Yes, chair. We we took the team went on on, on Monday on fourth, mm -hmm. and uh, this is the findings. The contractor was not on site, mm -hmm. and even from the pictures they took, mm -hmm. uh, there was seems to be no work going on. And uh, do they, you have those pictures in? Can uh, I see? Them? I just have them on my phone. Yeah, you can just pass them. I see. Uh, as you look for those pictures, have you looked at their responses in terms of performance bond, NCA lifting up the suspension, and have you been able to yes, we verify? Looked at, yes, we looked at them. Uh -huh. And is it satisfactory, especially on performance bond uh, and the issue of extension, the issue of lifting suspension? The issue of lifting is not satisfactory. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at uh, their next year, supporting the 2021 uh, uh, report, that one uh, at Annex 27, the report on NCA reads, mm -hmm. the project status has, has been suspended, the works on the site has been suspended following collapse of the building on 27th May 2021 until a full investigation is completed by the multi-agency team and the site safety agreed and the, and the safety ascertained. So from the from the the supporting documents that have been providing to us, mm -hmm. there is no report from the multi agency that now determined what caused the collapse of the building. And uh, when you look at uh, the supporting documents they have provided, they have also not given us a new revised act, actual uh, structure or. Uh, or a design because design. they have indicated there's a photo they have given how the new will look like but now the the approved plan mm -hmm. because when they are redesigning that when plan, you say multi-agency report would it do from police from nca from public works this which? is a report for nca uh -huh. how they did the report so i think they knew the people who are to be involved to do the report so that this report should be taken maybe to the site meeting and when you look at again when they were taking back the site mm -hmm. there needed to have been a meeting by all the stakeholders even the contractor may be giving the challenges mm -hmm. why they the called the, 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 the collapse, yes. collapse. Yes. so, so what percentage is done as at now we could not determine the percentage because when you look at the inside the finishing is from far from completion yeah. and uh, when you look at the extension it is given to july 2024 which is one month to come and it may not also be possible and again when an extension of a contractor is given it needs to give you a plan how it's going to finish the project how much is spent so far the due the certificate to, uh, the payment how much have they paid we were not out of 367 million we were not able to ascertain maybe that. the clerk can answer that but clerk at the class clans at the first glance of this building that uh, this is on fourth monday this this cannot be one month for some of us even who have constructed a cow shed you cannot finish this one within one month why are you saying by july we should come and commission under the invitation of the area senate yet even looking at the inside it is still far Thank you, sir. It's true, we might, we will not make it in the next one month. But when the extension was sought, that was adequate time when he came for it. When and was it the extension uh, was done? When? That is, uh, let me refer. I'll <coughs> add in the year. Has, uh, yeah, how much year. have you paid? I think you have paid an, a tune of 250, 211 Wait, million. Who is the clerk in that county assembly? 11. The... Uh, sorry, sir. I, there's a reason to that. I want to be sure. No, when, when mm. I'm asking, how long did you go and leave? Four years. Four years. But, uh, clerk, you are here. You, you appeared before this committee last, yes, last, last year. year. Yes. And we dealt with your issue yes, of resumption of office. Yes, yes. yes. So you again went to sleep? No, I've not gone to sleep. You, and you know, these are questions that are current. We're asking you current questions. Current issues, yes. Current and I want to know, you know, when you appear before Senate and you carry a Bible, you swear to tell the truth. The good lady here is saying there is nobody on site. 
No contract on site. On site. So your report says yes. the contractor is on site. And that was on Tuesday. Yeah. So are you lying to us? Because can, I can ask this committee we had John and Ed to Nyamira next week. Mm. And we'll do a serious report in inducting you to the, to the Senate. Because you cannot lie to the committee, I mean. In the, your report, yeah. you say the contractor is on site. Because if you there is no contractor, we... it's good to be honest to the committee and say the contractor is on site because of ABC. Yeah. When did you last pay them? And how much have you paid them? Can you consult? And then number two, you said you had brought your deputy clerk because you needed preparation. Yes. So what were you preparing for? Because if you are telling us that the contractor is on site, yet you know we trust the OEG because that's their work. They have said there was no contract on site. And even you have lied by saying, was misrepresented the committee by saying by July, the, the building should be ready for use. And you know, things change, inflation, cost of materials, the, inf the structure rained on, with time it might wear and tear, will kick in. So wh why are you lying on this one by saying the contractor is on site? Then sorry, sorry, sir, chairman, that's what I was explaining, yes. that when he sought for that But he's not on site. He's, he's just becoming following his money. What do you no, mean? No, no, what do you mean? But, yeah. but I want to be very, <laughs> excuse me, yeah. oh, sorry, uh, uh, honorable senator. Speak uh, through the chair. Through the chair, of course. Yeah. Uh, it's right. I think that statement, we need to weigh on it. We withdraw. Yeah, we withdraw. Uh, it's not on site. You know you are on oath. Excuse and you are lying to No, 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 I was not lying. We you thought are. the senior council... Uh, when we did the report, that is what we looked forward to. And well, that's I'm getting worried. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you apologies. Are <laughs> apologies on that. However, I wanted to explain something most, uh, Chairman, with your intelligence. So, who is, your report is uh, misleading. You want to withdraw. There's, there's nobody Which part do you want to withdraw? We cannot proceed if you withdraw that yeah. report. You can't withdraw since it has been tabled. I'm not. So, you wait for consequences? I'm not able to withdraw. Yes. We but are asking but a question. There's something Maybe I wanted to. Clarify. I'm asking, can you hold your thought? Eh? If it is possible, you should write so that you can get a notebook and write so that you answer in also. How much have you paid this contractor so far out of 367 million? 211 million. 211 million. That's how many percent? But in your report, you have said to date the works are at 70 percent of the contract, an accumulative amount of 255 million, 903502. As per certificate number 12, dated 27 February 2024, had been paid out of contract of 367 million. Yeah, now, he's, now, he's so now he's saying 211. So you are lying again. So which is which? Should we take the oral response or the written response that you have tabled? It is on page 10 of your report. It is not Senate report. This is uh, on report 2022. Or is the director misleading you intentionally May to embarrass you? Speaker, you are the chair of the board. Uh, what you is happening? Just quiet listening to what is happening. Thank you, Honorable Chair. And I want to confirm what might be on writing is not what on the what is on the ground. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons can be the contractor has raised some certificates which have not been paid that will sum up to the percentage. As so how many now that you have gone to the 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 ground i wanted you to how much are you aware have been paid because you are saying maybe the certificate have been raised but it is in your certificate number 12 it says you are paid 225 255 million but your clerk is saying you are paid 211 million there are those uh, thank you honorable chair yes. that's why i said there might be a variance from uh, the records because the contractors, uh, as I'm aware right now, has raised a payment certificate of 62 million, mm -hmm. but he has only been paid 18 million out of the 62 million. And the contractor walked out of sight a few weeks ago due to the payment. So we have certificates raised, but payment has not been done. But your clerk is saying the, the contractor is on site, and you, you are saying he has walked away. The contractor walked out of the site. So who is telling the truth? I'm telling the truth, the OAG was there. Okay. Now, let me ask, have you interacted with this Page. report before this morning or before the appearance? Or yes, uh, Honorable Through Chair, the report yes. was submitted 
be by 31st of May. No, 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 no. The senator is asking, before, have before you seen Before coming this? here as a board, have you sat and looked at this report together in preparation for to, today's appearance? appearance? Yes, through the Honorable Chair, we have. When? Because... As last as uh, last evening. Then why are you giving us contradicting statements if you had had a discussion and consultation on the same issues? Because it looks like you don't even know what is happening in the county. We understand uh, through Honorable Chair, we are very much aware of what is happening. The contradiction can be from the variances above highlighted. No, Chairman, uh, Speaker, you are the chair of the board. There is no way that you can say there are contradictions. Because if you have paid 200, you have paid 200. Mm. If the contractor is on site, he's on site. If he's not on site, he's not on site. And so that's where the is true the contradiction message. coming from? The contradiction is the figures, honorable through your chair. No, it's What I understand not. with the figures... Let, no. let me rephrase the question, speaker and the clerk. What our contractor Jetta? How much? Not the certificate. How much have you paid? Today you can, we can call him and ask. He can say, in my account, I've received this much. How much? As uh, director said, it's 211 million but here, with pending report, certificates. But in your report, you are saying you are paid 255 million, nine or three, five or two. You know, what has speaker, been raised and due for payment? Honorable Speaker, you know, some things uh, make life of this committee very, very difficult. Because the report says you are paid 255. What you should be defending is the uh, the figure which is before us, Chair. Now, if you tell us what is here is misleading, I mean, you have misled the committee that you have paid 255. While in release, can I read what you have said? I've you read said it twice, the, the <laughs> accumulative amount of 255 million, nine or three, five or two, as per certificate number 12, dated 27 to February 2024, has been paid. So, did you pay this certificate number 12? Have you paid it? Or it's also a lie. Clerk. Did you pay certificate number 12? I would request my director to respond to that. And he but you know, that and Chair, yeah. you know this report is signed by you. Am I this not your signature at page 15? So that we know to proceed. It's signed by me. And you don't seem to know anything that is happening on payments. I am, because we worked closely no, no. with him. If, 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 if you know, why do you need to consult, to be honest, about a clerk, my good friend? You are the accounting officer. You know the honorable, you. through your honorable chair, yes. we have a challenge here, and I can see the confusion. Uh, for example, I can say the contractor raised a payment certificate of 48 million. Which was where one is, certificate. Where is it in your report, uh, chairperson of the County Assembly Service Board? Where is this? Where is it raised here? Where is that certificate? Uh, um, uh, it's unfortunate that it's. Uh... Clark, are you disowning your report? Because what you are saying orally and what is written, you have table plus your next just is different. Because the speaker is honest and says there's no contract on site. You your report is saying that. Being record. <laughs> the speaker no, says no, no. he agrees Senator, with the auditor that there is no contractor on Senator site. Okongo, yes. again, looking at the time, and we are very busy today. The validity and value of 367 million is in question. I therefore direct the DSCC takes up the matter and follows up on the payments of this important facility. Because the more it delays, things change, value. And you know, the service to an angel of Nyamira will always be affected because MCS will never have offices to operate from. And this is public money. So follow up this matter and report to us in the first quarter. And should anybody be found that has misappropriated these funds, they, of course, the law will take its course. Let's move to number I, I, two. I think, Chair, there is a proposal by the area senator. We should visit this project. Yeah, of course, that is my next direction. Mm -hmm. So when we will do our visit on county projects in executive, make sure the secretariat, we need to visit this building. Because I did visit as devolution chair in the last session, 
And you remember you are requesting for more funds to construct the county headquarters. And and when you are given. So the, the executive county headquarters, so we, we will visit. So the secretary had not that. So let's move quickly to pay three non compliance with one thing. Is it addressed? Thank you, Chair. The issue was addressed because Okay. Uh, yeah. The issue here, so uh, on the other, was it raised in the previous financial year? In the to... previous year, it was not there. And uh... okay, let's move to number number. Let's move to lack of ethnic diversity in staff composition. I don't want you to read to to to, to read this one. Why are you employing only one tribe? A chairperson of County Assembly Service Board. Why are you not complying with NCIC Act? Where is the 30 percent? And I know Kisi is surrounded by Chair. Lord, so, sorry, sorry to take you back. Maybe the area senator can tell us. I can read there is a problem within the assembly. I don't know whether there is capacity, whether the clerk is not sitting on that chair properly, he is half seated on the chair. We need to have an explanation because I'm seeing there's a problem. Even if we refer this matter to EACC, we want to know how that assembly is operating. I can read and smell. There's something wrong somewhere. But you know Maybe. the area senator is not a witness. And no, no, no. It's, 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 good, it's good to know from Clark. Yes. After we had a session here last time, mm -hmm. you gave us court orders. Mm -hmm. We agreed with the court orders. We said you resume your duties. Are you the substantive clerk of uh, Nyamira County Assembly? Because you have signed the report, but as the Senator Dula says, it seems there is a problem. Is there any problem? Thank you. I want, I wish to kindly to correct that I did not submit any court orders. What was submitted is the process of the board that <coughs> actually found the allegations baseless and I was reinstated. I am the clerk of the County Assembly. Mm. Of Jamira. What is the problem? Because we are seeing there is a problem. You are not in touch with the reality that is happening in the county. Can you tell us? Or maybe the chair of the board can tell us. Yeah, that's a policy matter. Can the chair say something? Thank you. The clerk seated properly as a clerk of Nyamira County Assembly or is under mass or is being supported. Which is which? He has said by himself is the clerk of the county assembly. Mm -hmm. All communications from the speaker mm -hmm. goes direct to the clerk and uh, is the secretary to the board. Chair, can I propose uh, EACC to look into the operation of the assembly also? Because there is something they are not telling us. And there did is you, a problem. Maybe the question should be, have you done risk assessment on your mirror? Uh, county assembly as ESCC. Yes, Chair, one was done in the year 2018 uh, that highlighted some, some of the issues. What are some of the issues? There was the issue of uh, pending bills uh -huh. was, was one of the issues that was highlighted in that CRA. There was a regular payment of allowances and interest. Yes. Um, I think those are some of the ones that have a have appeared today in today's uh, session. Okay. But uh, so the, uh, that was that report shared with the management of the county assembly then? Yes, it was shared, Chair, but it's also available. It can be shared again. It can be shared again. So as this is a policy matter, Chair of County Assembly, have you uh, ensured that uh, the, your, your management and everybody works in harmony? Very true, Honorable Chair. Even in the last uh, sitting we had last time, we had a myriad of challenges, especially in the management, which we have ratified even when you check uh, the current uh, OHS queries. Mm -hmm. We are much far better as we had promised the last time we had a sitting here. So I know we have tremendously done so well. Yes. So, Clark, why do you look like you are out of touch with what is happening? Is it, uh, is it intentional or some of your management are keeping some is of the capacity? information? Is it yes, uh, Clark. Thank you, Chair. 
I am the clerk of the assembly, and as you said, that some of the things are policy matters. I am happy that the chair of the board is with me here, and they can respond to some of these things. But we, I am the clerk of the county assembly. You are the accounting officer. And I am. You know, but uh, the picture which has uh, come out this morning is not very nice. It's not very nice. Because you, you give us a report that doesn't reflect what is on the ground. You give us contradictory figures on the payments made from what is on the report. Huh? Every question we ask, you seek uh, to cross-check the facts with the, the finance director. So you seem not to be on top of things, one clerk. We really need to know what is the problem. So, so I, uh, clerk. Chair, could I register my presence? Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, my name is Senator Richard Inyonka. I'm a senator of Kisi County, and a member of this committee. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, so, clerk, are you a signatory? Bank signatory of the county assembly. Or you have been denied. It looks like the senator, it looks like they are cabals <laughs> in uh, Nyamira County Assembly. So yeah, I think you, you, you know, it's, you it's actually embarrassing. Answer. You yes. know, I've not seen such a situation in any of the uh, counties that have appeared before us where the accounting officer is uh, reneging <laughs> from a report that has been presented. And, and on figures, you know, under his signature, he says he has paid 255, but he tells the committee a different story, that have only, we have only paid 211. He says there is a contract on site, then the chair of the board agrees with the auditor that there is no contract on site. It creates a very bad picture. So let me uh, ask chair, just before you rule, Chair, yes. you know you've asked him a question he has not answered. You asked him whether he's a signatory. Are you a signatory? I think that's a very important question. Yes or no? No. Okay, thank you. So we'll make a, a ruling that I think yes, you say you need to follow up. That's a serious matter. So, area senator, you can see. What is happening? So was this certificate number 12 paid? I asked that question. Was it ever paid? Director of Finance, I think. Can, can the Director of Finance take a note of, 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 of Taraka? Yeah. Chair. Yeah. Taraka Sana. Uh, what, no, so what? before we interrogate further, can the Director of Finance take all Taraka? Taraka? Mm -hmm. Can you assist him? Yeah. Has made a very interesting recommendation that we take a short break. And then so let him first take uh, the oath. That and then I'll give direction on that payment of that certificate. Thank you. Yes. <coughs> I, Leonard Nyamasege, do solemnly swear that the evidence I shall give before this committee in respect of the matters before the committee shall be the truth, the whole truth and not not, nothing but the truth. So help me God. So can you answer, Senator? Thank you, Chairman. Uh, certificate number 12 on question is not yet paid. Certificate number 11, which forms part of the cumulative uh, amount for the work done, has been partly paid, as the speaker mentioned. And the two certificates were, have been forwarded to the, our, our requisitioning uh, passes tr through the county treasury. Are those copies of those certificates here? Number 12 is attached, okay, which is which, the latest. On which one? 2022. That is page? On 2022. Which page is it? Page, uh, page 110, uh, Chair. 
110. Yeah. Who should be authorizing payments? Is the clerk. Is the clerk. Yes. But the clerk is not signatory. And it is here, Cheta, you, Senator, it has been paid 255 million, 90352, that's page 110 of 2022. So the report is right. Chairman, that is the certificate raised. So, so it far, has not been paid. But it, uh, it is still pending because we did a requisition and it has not been paid because of the cash flow problems. Total and if you remove it, mm -hmm. there is uh, 220. So still what you are telling us, 211 has not add up. Uh, cumulative uh, chair of 255 includes two certificates. The certificate number 11, which the speaker mentioned of 48 million, and certificate number 12, which is uh, 14 million, a total of 62. Out of that, 16 is paid. I mean, 18 is paid. So if you remove what is already paid, what is pending is uh, 255 uh, 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 minus, minus uh, In your 111, 44. you have said total work done up to date is 255 million. Yeah. 903502. Yes. Less previous payment of 241 million, 287502. Chair, could I, could I ask? Uh, a subsequent question through yes. OAG. What is the true position on this matter? Thank you, Chair. The, the, the correct amount that has not been paid, if you check our latest report, most of the contracts were not given, and it is in our uh, report for 2023, whereby we had requested to be given all the certificates because when you look at the final certificate when you attach, it should give you all the payments that have been done. Correct. And again, talking on the pending bills, it's also questionable because we are under cash basis. Yes. So, so when you look at the, car, the pending bills that they have reported, there's none <coughs> pertaining to this construction that we are talking about. So I think the, the, it has not been addressed and maybe they should uh, maybe give us all the certificates so that we are confirmed the same. Thank you, Chair. I think uh, I had made Chair, a ruling on this matter, yes. Chair, yes. I'm looking at this certificate on page 110. I don't know whether the auditor has looked at it, whether oh, it's yes. a true copy of the normal certificate given by Ministry of Public Works. Have because you there is off? nothing to show that this is a certificate from a Ministry, of Ministry of Public Works, because I can see signature that is it yeah did you verify this document have you did you verify uh, thank you honorable senator uh, the counties generally they have their county uh, works officers so they don't use uh, the main one for the main the ministry of the national okay. government so but they are normally approved by their county what is your comment on this but you know chair procedurally if I'm the one to sign such a document that has this kind of value, <coughs> the name and s signature of the person authorizing this document should, should be appear there. here. Yeah, it should. Because it should. now who is the county quantity surveyor? No name, it's just a signature. signature is there. Anybody can sign. And this Direct. is a value of 255 million. Yeah? So can we say this, this document is um, valid? Because we can challenge this. Uh, thank you, Honorable Senator. It is it it doesn't appear very accurate. Chair. <coughs> I have well, could I on this. Can I yes, sir, Senator Onyonga? Uh, Chair, from what I am seeing here, mm -hmm. I don't even we I don't think we need time to waste any more time on this thing. Yes. This I need better documents. Mm -hmm. And I need a better resolve for this matter to be arrested. The way it is right now, there is nothing. This is really uh, a speaker. This is a very beautiful book. I don't know how much you use, you used to print it. And we had said at the beginning. We we do it in our own county assembly. You've done very well, but all the documents here look uh, funny. All of them. There's no signature. There's no stamp. There's no forwarding message. You understand what I'm saying? In other words, this thing is completely sanitized. 
all of it, when I look at it as somebody who's a little bit Which knowledgeable. Which building is this? Is it the, the current building you're occupying? Yes, that's the, the, one that the final million, product. Eh? Yeah, that's the final product. This is of the, the 367 million, how it should look like. Yes. But then, uh, procedure, <clears throat> no, but procedurally you don't have to put it here because it's not there. It's an impression. It's, it's there only that it's not complete. Rule, I have ruled out of, you are totally out of order. Uh, I have ruled that the ESCC follows up this Chair, matter. I have further question to the assembly. Yes. Now that the clerk is saying it's not signatory to the bank account, mm -hmm. so who what? is the signatory? Chairperson? Um, it says uh, deputy. Deputy clerk. Where is the deputy clerk? I'm at Oroka. See, was seated there. Where is the? Can you call the deputy clerk, Sergeant? Can you call the deputy clerk? As we wait for signatory on the issue of delayed MCS building and the building of the county assembly, follow up and uh, give us a progress report in the first part of next financial. So let me ask, eh, you know. The certificate. Can I finish? Before you finish, I wanted to ask this issue of signatory. Eh? Mm -hmm. So that I'm just finishing on the part of the building, uh -huh. then as we wait for deputy clerk to work it. No, chair. So that I, I wanted to finish on certificates. <coughs> can the also can the entity provide in the next seven days all the certificates of payment, and that has been raised by the contractor for the OAG to verify and transmit the same within a span of the next fourteen days. So directed. Deputy Clerk, can you be given uh, something to <coughs> chair to say? You, you can now shoot. Why were you given the signatory? Because for the vision, the, yeah. Now uh, let, let, let me let me oh, okay. refresh my question. Eh? Procedurally, the clerk is the accounting officer. Yeah. Yes. We are being told the clerk has been denied signatory of the account. What are the reasons behind it? And are you the one signing all the uh, finances, authorizing all the payments under the assembly? What are the reasons? Because you are also lying to us. The clerk has said some few minutes ago, we can refer to the, <clears throat> to the Hansard. He said he's the accounting officer. Am I right, clerk? You are right, Senator. Which means you are also lying under oath. Yeah? He's not the accounting officer. <clears throat> so, uh, Deputy, can you respond to those questions? Why are you the signatory, not the clerk? Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Uh, the, the, the speaker, can you switch off your mic so that we get clarity? Are you on mic? Yes, yes. Yes, I can see. The, 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 the responsibility was given to me by the uh, board. Speaker. Is there evidence <coughs> of the, the, the time? Speaker, can you, can you give us the reasoning why the signature was removed from him and given to the deputy? Thank you, the Honorable <laughs> Chair. As you had... Uh, the clerk was away for nearly five years. And uh, the deputy clerk, we had an audit query last time when we came here mm -hmm. that uh, the deputy clerk was acting for, the, the deputy clerk acted for five good years when the clerk was not in office. And the signatory has been with him since then. When uh, our clerk came back as a board, we did the minute, and uh, I signed the documents for him to change the signatory. So from there, I don't know what happened. And uh, Speaker, no, you can't say you don't know what happened. You are the head of that institution. It's right. Yeah? You can't tell us you have actually authorized his signature to be returned. And then on the other hand, you are telling us you don't know what happened. That's I mean, the true. responsibility of running of that institution lies with you. It's very so, true. So can I ask, when did the clerk come back? He came back uh, officially in uh, January. January. 
January 20. So do you want to tell us from January up to now, his signature has not been approved. It is still with the, with the deputy uh, clerk. That's true. Why? Uh, I don't know the procedures, but the clerk can attest. No. Is he? Excuse me, Chair. I, I think... Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, Mr. Speaker, you are letting me down, boss. You know that the law is very clear under the PFM Act who should sign for what and for which position and which department and which secretariat. Very true. So, so what are you telling me that you don't know? Uh, under the same uh, act, the clerk can delegate the work of the chair of the service board. Which means the answer you gave us actually was not the right answer. You understand why we are asking these issues? I can get you through, Honorable Chair. Get the frustrations we're having, and that is, that is why our counties are not functioning. Because we are not following the law. And you're busy telling us to give you money to, to bring uh, revenue allocations high, increase the ceilings, and yet you are breaking the same law that allows me to fight for you to get the money. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. Mm. What I want to confirm here... Uh, but is, uh, uh, let me chair through you. Can yes, I... Sir. You have said that uh, the clerk delegated the stupid clerk. Now... I want you to tell me, clerk, which law gives you authority to, to, dele, to delegate to your deputy clerk? Yeah, and and, really and whether, why you should actually tell us you are fit to continue being in office if you can sign and delegate your accounting authority to your deputy. And make sure you give us the letter plus the legal authority yeah. that gives you the power to delegate. Thank you. The PFM regulations give that authority. Yes, but I have not delegated. It was the decision of the board. So is there evidence, uh, Deputy Clerk, to that effect? Or the chair of the county assembly, is there evidence or a letter that shows that you have, uh, you, you, it was delegated to the Deputy Clerk and the reversal to the same? Can you table that evidence? I think as the board, we have the evidence, but... Um, it's not exactly about delegation. It was about, about the responsibility. Yes. The designatory has not been uh, in, your, in your delegation to the deputy clerk of responsibility, one of them was to become a signatory. When uh, the clerk was not in, yes. obviously the responsibility Can was to be assigned. we get those minutes of the decision of the board? De designating him as a signatory. Yes, yes, for five good years. Oh. Excuse me, Chair. <clears throat> yes, please. One of the issues that I'm extremely uncomfortable about is when we ask these guys to go and look for documents for us. Those ones they manufacture. Why is that document not in this report? <clears throat> yeah. Through Honorable Chair, to correct uh, my Honorable Senator. You cannot the, correct a Senator. Just to give a bit of information, not yes, to correct. Yes. yes that uh, uh, the issue raised is not in the audit queries we are responding here today. It doesn't matter. But Speaker, it doesn't matter whether it is in query or not in query. We have a right to ask any question. Very okay. It's yeah. only about the documents I meant. No, not no, 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 no. I think, Chair, we are playing around here. This is a very serious matter. Yes. It's not a joke. The reason, Speaker, it I, comes I think, up, Chair, let yes, me finish. Yes. Can we refer all these matters of County Assembly of Nyamira to EACC to investigate quickly? Mm. And even uh, OAG should should do a special audit on how the, the Assembly is running. Forensic audit. And I think we have to give that ruling. Because we've been asking here, is there a problem? Nobody wants to say. Yes. Until we had to come back. Yeah, even the clerk himself, when he's not an accounting officer, he sits here and says he's an accounting officer, because we cannot deal with an institution that is lying to us by record, by word of mouth. We can't. How are you going to behave before Nyamira people when you are actually lying to an institution like Parliament? You are even an embarrassment to your senator. We know he's a thorough person, and he fights for Nyamira money. Every year we fight because. We have equal 
uh, problems with uh, with Nyamira. But if you don't account for the money allocated to you, surely, why does he fight in this Senate every day? It's really embarrassing. So I think, Chair, mm -hmm. with all due respect, we must refer these matters to ESC, ESC and OAG to carry out forensic audit and ESC to investigate on the running of county assembly. And we are done. We don't have to waste time here with people who are lying to us. Chair, Chair, Madam Dulo. Okay. Now, now oh, the two things. The, the reason speaker we're asking about who is signatory was, arose from the payment of certificates to the contractor. We wanted to know who authorizes payments. And the accounting officer is seated here. Is legally is the accounting officer, but we took a ground is different. Because somebody else is the one pay, authorizing payment, which is against the law. So we will direct that they are directed on two issues. That the fourth issue yes, is to follow up on operations. Specifically, we want to know this issue of authorization or payment of signature. Because legally, accounting officer is the clerk of the county assembly. So if you have another stranger, you will end up having people looking into your expenses. And you know we are pushing for financial autonomy of the county assemblies. Yes. And this is the indecency we would want not to know. So let's move. Uh, so ESC is so directed and also provide those certificates to the OAG to go through and then report back. Uh, and then in that report, you we must get authority of the board. And you know, if you go and manufacture or cook Senator Onyonga, some of us uh, as, are good at detecting cooking yes. and manufacturing. So let's move ethnic. Why are you employing only one ethnicity? A chairman of the County Assembly Service Board, it's 96 percent. What is happening? Thank you. We are surrounded by people from Migori, Suba, Kurias, Kalenjins. Thank what you. What is happening? Uh, thank you, Honorable Chair. I think since the advent of uh, devolution, uh, when counties started is when uh, uh, mass uh, recruitment was done. And uh, I want to assume that it was the belief that uh, majority of the people applied in their own counties. What is the practicability? Counties. We don't want to waste a lot of time. What are you doing to rectify the situation? You are violating NCIC Act on 30% rule of non-locals or non-natives. Yeah, any employment that will come up and I want to say this employment, we haven't employed in any recent time. So what we're talking about is something uh, that has gone way back in the years, mm -hmm. from 2013 when uh, we started employing in the so assembly. what practicable uh, strategies have you put in place? Do you advertise in national newspapers? Yes, we you put in the put main in the, uh, or you the media stream. Yeah, we website. The, yeah, all the employment uh, procedures. You know, Onyonga has been complaining to other counties that there is no kisi. It How is. Can you say this? Uh, 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 Chair, thank you so much. I, I, I am, first of all, surprised. I hope you know the law. Uh, the same issue, Chair, that is also related to the same, I would want him to explain, uh, Mr. Speaker, whether you have also been inclusive in terms of, I saw you've done well, you brought two women, but you brought ten men. I don't know whether your assembly has any women who who have, have been accommodated. We have, the, out of 10 directors, they have only two women. There you are I also not... You are women championists. Uh, of course, I love my mother. The reality and my sister and my daughters, the reality is, please look at that issue. It is important because every audit query that comes, or er, not query, every audit that is going to come, we must deal with those very basic things before we deal with the big, big ones. So when the auditors are telling you why you're not inclusive, why you're not hiring gender, why you not, don't, why don't you have some gender parity, it's not because they're being petty. Because some of these things, we are actually looking at legislation where if you are not going to achieve those percentages, we'll say you are not given the revenue. Imagine what that means. Thank you. And uh, I, I hope in future you should be careful on what goes to answer. Yes. Because you only say you love your mother and your daughters. And so I hope it will not give you problems. My wife. Okay, now I'm assisting you so that you know. Now, now, members, we have agreed this entity has decided to misrepresent the Senate. I don't want to say lying. Therefore, it, it has tied our hands not to proceed. Uh, because it looks there is chaos. We cannot go to every question, what the clerk says, what the team says, contravenes what we should expect. 
maybe before I make a ruling on that matter on whether to proceed or not, the area senator, you wanted to say something. No, no, uh, uh, Chair, I'm embarrassed as you. It's yeah. a collective embarrassment. I expected the clerk and the chair to speak from one voice, with one voice from the same page. But uh, now you have uh, left this committee with very little choice. Because when figures that are given here are being, uh, what, what is the software word to use? Are, be, are being contradicted by the accounting officer. Mm -hmm. uh, that is not a good record mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. In fact, normally we expect uh, that uh, the accounting officer will have all answers on their fingertips. But what is worrying mm -hmm. is uh, the issue that is coming at the tail end, uh, this issue of, of signatory mm -hmm. to the account. Mm -hmm. And the person who assigned the report is the clerk, but he doesn't seem to know about any financial happenings and the assembly. So, Chair, uh, if, if I was sitting in your position, Speaker, uh, the person who should have sat there is maybe that stupid uh, clerk. Yes. But you can see how ugly that again looks to your assembly. So I want to give you counsel as a senior counsel that even before ESCC arrives there, of course you may not undo what you have done, even before ESCC arrives in Yamira, I'm now saying as a senior <laughs> son of Yamira, Go and put your house in order. If your clerk has been reinstated, is in office, allow him to be the bank signatory, allow him to exercise the full powers of that office, so that when you come next time, uh, Chair, my good friend Speaker, you don't put yourself where you are today. It's, it's, it's been fairly embarrassing for me as your senator. So I hope that you go and uh, do something, work together for the benefit of the residents of the county of Nyamira. And we need to see this building, this beautiful building, needs to be completed. Uh, so that, Speaker, you invite me when I'm still your senator to come and uh, sit there when you are presiding over the official opening. But this will not happen if you are not working together. <clears throat> it will not. So go work together. Uh, next time you come to us, uh, come as a team uh, that uh, can demonstrate that you are united and working together as the chair and as clerk. Please. Thank you. Uh, two rulings that I direct the, the county assembly service board to immediately reinstate uh, the clerk as the accounting clerk and signatory to the bank accounts of the county assembly and that report should come back to us in the next 14 days that that has been done secondly looking at the contradiction and misrepresentation you have tied my hands and it is in the interest of the all of us to adjourn this meeting we'll sit back as a committee and deliberate on what we have said on record what we have tabled and give you further directions uh, in the next seven days on when. Number three is that we are directing that by the time you come back, we should see you working as a team and give us appropriate and non-contradictory responses. So looking at that uh, without so much uh, ado, I will direct that this uh, meeting is adjourned until further notice. Thank you very much and all the best. The meeting is adjourned. Uh, to Mama Lisa.